previously on Chicken Police Into the Hive. Let's just stick with the classics. It was a dark and stormy night. Well, it wasn't that stormy, but it was cluck and dark for sure. I woke up from a horrible dream among boxes that had my whole life in them. I was ready for the big journey around the wilderness. But a mysterious woman in a hood came to ruin everything. Sound familiar? And she came straight from the hive, fellas, with a case that looked like straight suicide. Did I take it? Clark, yes, because that's me, the perfect schmuck. Now, all I had to do was get Marty, my partner, to back me up. But he strangely refused to pick up the phone. I wonder what could have happened to him. Well, that is one heck of an introduction to a new point-and-click adventure by the Wild Gentleman. This is Chicken Police Into the Hive, and my name's Knox. Those of you who know me might be wondering why I'm playing a point-and-click game here, as I do try to keep to strategy games. Well, the reason is they have in the future another game coming out called Wild Tactics, which I have also got my eye on. And that takes place in the same world as this, so they're going to have a suite of games all around the same world, and that is why I'm looking into this. Hey, I know you can hear me! Everyone is listening to us! This has got a very stylized type of graphics. As you can see, these are anthropomorphic animals, and they certainly have their own certain type of language and character, which I must admit I have chuckled more than once in this playthrough. Here you are playing the chicken police, Sonny, who's trying to get his best pal and partner in, well, the police, on the job to start looking into something that we saw at the very beginning of this video. And unfortunately for Marty, it looks like he's been chucked out of his house, but what happens there, I certainly hope we find out in the full game, but we're going to have to leave it here and fast forward when we actually get him recruited and back to the police station. Sorry. <laughs> right now we need paperwork to enter the hive. Yeah, sure. Wait, what? At the police station, we inform Marty that we need to go to a place called the hive, and I'm guessing this isn't the best area of town to go to if you're a policeman, or possibly if you're anyone at all. One thing I would like to say is the voice acting in this is incredible. Considering we don't have any of the facial expressions that we're normally used to, you can still get a hint of how these characters are feeling through the voices and, of course, the, well, acting on screen. Blood boil? Uh, you know the dog that barks doesn't bite. Yeah, right. Just sends you on unpaid leave. Well, well. If it isn't the chicken police in the flesh. The hairs that lay the golden eggs, huh? And here we have Moses and Plato. They seem to have some kind of history with Marty and Sonny, but not one that I'm familiar with. Moses and Plato are also going to have their own game, which looks like it's a murder mystery game, which has its own similar art style and obviously its own unique gameplay. And might be something I want to have a look at when that is released as well. What did you say? Please don't do this, Plato. We're so much better than that. One cool component of this game is as you're talking to people, sometimes you have these pop-ups, so you can select your reply to what they're saying. Here there's the happy, angry and neutral stance to reply to what has been said. Here I take the happy as they are our co-workers and we want to try and keep everyone pleasant, at least for now. Okay. Whatever. Moses, Plato, the later the better. Indeed. And if you tire of the film noir black and white, there is an option to change it into glorious Technicolor, so you can see the characters in their colourful outfits. What could be quite cool is if this tied into some kind of hint mechanism if you were to get stuck. So if you're stuck, change it into colour and maybe something will sparkle. During your conversations with characters, the replies they give can often lead to unlocking of other areas which were unlocked in the past. So it's very important to interrogate and question everyone around to make sure you can adventure everywhere properly. To be honest, I was surprised too.
these little cutscenes and hearing the internal monologue of Marty as he introduces new areas and new characters are a fantastic touch and really draw you into the game. Worthwhile listening to what he says and watching those as they are quite simply a work of art. What she has to do and for us she sometimes does a little bit extra. She's like an anchor holding a tiny boat in place on a boiling sea so it genuinely surprises us to find her upset. Something must have happened. After talking to Monica, we find out we need a permit to go into the hive, and unfortunately, we need Plato and Moses to also sign it. Which, quite frankly, they do quite easily. However, we're now in their debt. And don't forget, you're in our debt. Yeah, okay. So I'm sure that's not going to come bite us later on in the game. Oh, bye, fellas. Okay, so what exactly are we talking about? I get that we're snooping around the hive, but what about Frank? And where does Mick come into it? Just relax. We'll go up to my place and I'll show you. That's what she said. Ah, stop clucking around. This is big. You're about to see how big. That's what she said. Ah, never mind. So we've now made our way over to the distant light in the hive. And I'm guessing this is where the game will really start. I'm going to leave the last words to Marty and Sonny. Now that you put it that way... Come on, old bird. It will be fun. Maybe the adventure of a lifetime. And besides, you started the whole thing, didn't you? True enough. Okay, Marty. Let's cluck and do this. This whole madness started with this petty little affair. Huh. Petty to the one who reads it in the paper. Less petty to the one who's getting shot. Clawville, the city of opportunity, the city of dreams, a bastion of tolerance and equality, a genuine shithole. You know, Truth is a weird dame. No matter how loyal you are to her, she'll cheat on you in the end. The question is, are you gonna stay by her side? And if you do, what price are you willing to pay?